Good morning. It is Friday, uh, June 26th. Uh, we got July right around the corner, and uh, VBS is coming up. Um, today I want to talk about the idea of don't take blessings for granted. Um, I was actually talking this week with, uh, with I don't know if you guys know her, Anne. She goes to the church. And um, one of the things we were talking about, I forgot what brought it up. But one of the things that we were talking about was the way that we tend to not appreciate the regular things in our lives. Like, if something's a constant something in our life, we, we tend to not appreciate it. Um, maybe uh, if, you, if you're a kid, you're living with your parents, you know, um, them making dinner, for instance. Um, sometimes you can just not really see what a, what a blessing that is. Or, you know, somebody in the house other than you does the laundry. Um, you know, little things like um, whoever takes care of the finances, whoever takes care of the car, you know, all these different things. Um, what what I was talking specifically with her about is, you know, it was like a moment of realization. Anne's there every single week, always has the coffee ready for people, always there ready to, ready to, ready to do. You know, and, and sometimes... Especially as a pastor, you get so caught up with, with the different problems that you have to deal with, the different fires that you have to put out, you forget to appreciate the little things, uh, appreciate the, the, the good aspects, you know what I mean? And, and, um, and that's something that, that I think we all kind of deal with. We, we don't appreciate the regular things in our life, and we kind of take our blessings for granted. Like, how many of us, for instance, woke up today and uh, it, were able to, I mean, walk around? Uh, I, I know many people, um, many of my friends, who are either bedridden, um, currently sick and unable to walk around like regular, um, have had surgery, all kinds of different stuff like that. And little things like walking that we take for, take for granted. And so there's a few different, excuse me, there's a few different ways that I want to look at this. The first thing is learn to appreciate the people in your life. The, the friends that you have, the family that you have, um... The, the, the people who are in your life, maybe coworkers, um, and to a certain extent, learn to even appreciate the the irritants in your life. Maybe it's somebody that you, <laughs> that you don't overly like. Um, try to find the good in that bad situation. Um, you know, maybe they're helping you to be a more forgiving person. Maybe they're helping you to be more patient. Um, nobody, nobody will live forever. Enjoy who you have when you have them. Sometimes we can kind of take people for granted, and, and then when they're not there anymore, we, we kind of live in that regret of, man, I really wish they were in my life again, and we can't go back. So then we, we don't appreciate the people who are in our lives because we're too busy grieving about those people who aren't in our lives anymore. And it's a very hard thing to learn, but it's a very necessary thing to learn. Enjoy who you have when you have them. Um, sometimes, you know, oh, I hate my mom, I hate my dad, and then they die, and it's like, oh, well, maybe they weren't so bad after all. Um, it, it just, it's just something that's worth thinking about. Enjoy who you have when you have them. No, nobody's going to live forever. Learn to let go of those. Mm -hmm. Learn to let go of those you no longer have. Learn to let go. Uh, and then learn to get new people uh, in your life. New friends, new family. Um, you know, when your kids leave the nest, that's hard. But then be willing to welcome grandkids. You know, sometimes we, oh, man, it was hard having our kids leave the house or whatever. Maybe you were happy they left the house, whatever. Um, and then the grandkids come and it's like, okay, just, you know, you stay over there. And it's like, well... <laughs> that that's that's gonna cause loneliness. Um, sometimes, especially with people like myself who have depression, well, I want to. I, I, I don't feel like going out today, so I'm gonna stay inside. So then you stay inside, and you don't get to you know rub shoulders with people. You don't get to talk with people, and so then you feel like you're lonely. So then you stay inside because you feel lonely, and so then you continue to not. You see what I mean? It's like this never-ending process of making ourselves feel more and more lonely. Um, so enjoy little things that that you see in your life. Not so. The first thing was was learn to appreciate people in your life. The, the second thing, enjoy the little things in your life. Things that that are so unique and so beautiful, but we oftentimes just overlook it. 
Um, I'll give you a couple examples of sunrise. New Mexico's sunrises and sunsets are spectacular. I see that having been all over the U.S. Um, I've been in, into Mexico too. I actually did a little, did quite a time, quite a bit of, of time in Mexico. Um, but all around the U.S., um, New Mexico has just unforgettable, unforgettable sunrises and sunsets. Um, out of everywhere I've been. And that's something that sometimes we take for granted. Like, we get caught up with the bad stuff that's going on in our community. Like, oh, all these druggies, all these this, all these that. But then, like, the, the good things are in front of us. We don't we don't even notice them. Um, another example would be flowers. You know, we have some very pretty wildflowers that grow around here. Very pretty. Um, up in the mountains, and, and, and actually here in my yard, I've got some kind of weed that started growing up in the whole side there that's got this real pretty blue flower so i haven't mowed it because i'm all like let's wait until these flowers die um uh, another thing uh if you've got to drive to work you've got that daily commute um uh, learn to appreciate that i mean it takes like 30 what is it 30 minutes to get to rodoso here there's places that i've lived that it takes 30 minutes to get two blocks away but you you spend that 30 minutes in traffic here, you don't spend that time in traffic. It's just that everything's so spread out because it's the country. That That's a really good thing. Um, growing up in Southern California, I mean, it's like it's like being it's like being a rat in a cage of rats. It's just terrible. Um, so en learn to enjoy those little things. Um, another thing is uh, learn to notice your blessings that you have. Sometimes we'll be going through bad things and we'll say, there's nothing to be thankful for. Everything's going wrong. Um, you know, whatever. I'm sure you have something that you, you you're a line that you say. And uh, some, so just some examples. Did you wake up and have food? Um, <laughs> hunger is a, is, a, is a very big problem. Um, did you wake up and were able to breathe? <laughs> that's, that, that, that's a good thing. That, that's a blessing. Um, did you have clothes to wear? Oh, but what we do is we focus on the bad side of it. Oh, these aren't the clothes I wanted to wear. These aren't the clothes I like. I wish I could afford these clothes. Be thankful that you have clothes. Um, your car. Here's another thing that we complain about. Oh man, my car is so crappy. It breaks down all the time. Hey, at least you have a car. I mean, I know a lot of people who their means of transportation is their feet. Um, some of them, luckily, very very few lucky amount of people who have bikes. Um, another thing, learn to appreciate... Here's another thing that we have to have to take for granted. The government. Now, I, I know... <laughs> Ugh, it's hard not to be cynical nowadays, isn't it? Everybody has opinions on the president or on the governor or whatever, but I want you to think of what it would be like to not have a government. Um, there would be no, no regulations, uh, no law enforcement, so if there was anything happening to you, you just fend for yourself. Um, no government assistance if you're on any kind of food stamps or wake or anything. That wouldn't exist. Um... There's there's a lot of things um, maintained roads county maintained roads that wouldn't exist um, Yeah, there's things that we don't like about the government There's people in the government that we think we could do a better job than of course because we're not doing the job uh, <laughs> But uh, you know learning to appreciate something rather than just joining in the complaint of it that that changes things um, really does change things um, another thing to another blessing family or friends if you have any family or friends even one it's not about how many you have it's not a competition but if you have somebody in your life that you can actually share life with that is a beautiful thing and I'm not just talking about an intimate relationship like a girlfriend or something like that I'm talking about um, just people in general you know life's more than sex um, those people who are who will walk with you that that's being someone who's been who, who's been somewhere where I didn't have people in my life like that. If you find that, I mean, that's that in and of itself is a blessing. And don't don't overlook little things like that. Um, so, okay, so we, we looked at three different things. I said don't take blessings for granted, and there were three different things. The first one, learn to appreciate the people in your life. The second one, enjoy the little things. And then the third thing, uh, find the blessings. So just a few closing ideas here. Stop complaining. A complaint is a verbal is a verbal expression of an unsatisfied, discontent heart. Um, what we do is we're not happy in here. We have this war inside that we're losing. And so then we look outside for what can make me happy. But not finding it, we turn then to complaints. 
and complain about everything. So then we teach our brains to complain because the thing that you focus on is the thing that your brain learns to focus on. So then we learn to focus on the complaints and then we definitely can't find the happiness. So stop complaining and thinking about the bad things. You always have that in your mind about the things that you could have, the things that you could change. It, it, you're never going to be happy. So stop with the verbal and stop with the thinking. So then what you have to do is you have to do the exact opposite. You learn, have to learn to see the good. Look for the good. And then talk about the good. You know, instead of talking about all the bad things all the time, learn to, learn to talk about the good things. Now, I'm not saying you have to be fake, you know, oh, I'm so blessed, I'm so blessed, I'm not, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is what you focus on will be what you see. The thing that you focus on will be what you see. So you have to relearn to see good things. It's a, it's a process. But you have to learn to not take the blessings for granted. Learn to appreciate people. Learn to see blessings. Learn to stop complaining. Learn to be thankful and to verbalize that thankfulness. Learn to enjoy the little things. So I want to challenge you today. As you go out with whatever you have today, uh, work or maybe it's a day off or whatever, try and find something that you enjoy. Try and find something that other people enjoy that maybe you could enjoy. You know, ha have a look, have your eyes open and have, keep a lookout for flowers, that kind of stuff. Um, I hope that this helps. Um, positivity is definitely a choice <laughs> that we have to make. Uh, even as Christians, sometimes we think, oh, I'm a Christian, so I don't have any problems. <laughs> Wrong. So I hope that you guys have a great rest of the day. And um, um, that's it.